Hello from Phuket, Thailand! The place that's known for all its pretty beaches, which makes it the perfect setting for today's vlog. Because today's vlog is all about creating that natural beach makeup look. Enter the rain. First things first, in order for you to achieve that perfect beach makeup look, you have to have naturally radiant looking skin because again, you don't want to have to put on so much foundation or powder just to cover up the imperfections, the acne, the marks, the spots. So you really want to try your best to have naturally good looking skin nah, in the first place. So how do you achieve that? By having a good skincare routine, by cleansing, toning, and moisturizing every day. That's what I make sure of doing like every night and every morning. What I'm using right now as part of my skincare routine is the Nivea Extra White Repair Pore Minimizer Foam and Scrub and Toner. So I've only been using this for a bit over a week now. And so far, so good. I think out of all the products that I've tried, this one really makes me feel like my skin is super like tight. And I feel like my pores are really much more minimal. So what I do is I use the Extra White Repair Pore Minimizer Foam first. This cleanses my face, removes all the impurities and all the makeup residue that causes dullness, acne, and enlarged pores. I like it because there's no strong fragrance in the foam, so that's good. Apparently, it contains pearl whitening complex and vitamin C, which aids in the evening out of your skin tone and making sure that your skin looks radiant. So far, so good. I like how it is on my skin. It makes my skin feel super duper clean and it does the job well. After that, three or four times a week, I use the Nivea Extra White Repair Pore Minimizer Scrub. You can't really use this every day, at least for me, that's what I feel. If you want to take an extra step in the cleansing of your face, this one I feel really minimizes my pores and takes out all those like deep-seated dirt and all of that. <laughs> I, what I like about this is because you know all those like harsh makeup removers that you use that contain all those acidic ingredients? It can cause your skin to become thinner, making it more prone to dullness and to impurities and all those other things that we don't like in our skin. This one is super duper mild and yet it does the job well. Like it minimizes your pores and it makes your skin look more radiant and vibrant. And afterwards, I tone my skin with the Nivea Extra White Repair Pore Minimizer Toner. I like this because it doesn't feel heavy, it's super refreshing, it doesn't smell like alcohol, it doesn't smell like I'm rubbing my face with some like super duper harsh ingredient. It feels super gentle on my skin. So after toning and then I moisturize my face and make sure to put on sunscreen because again, you're going under the sun, you're gonna be in the beach and the number one enemy of our skin is what? the sun. So now it's time for makeup. First things first, I conceal. So I only conceal my under eye and then here on my nose and around my lips. When I use this concealer, I actually like to use my hands instead of a sponge. I don't know why, but I just feel like it spreads the product better. And sometimes I also use my sponge, so whatever I feel. Please don't mind my nail polish. And then, I fill in my brows. I don't really do much to my brows because I've already had 3D eyebrow tattoo. Thank you to Pauline of Permanent Makeup Manila. So I just put a bit. So I'm so... So I'm still using Maybelline's Fashion Brow for that. And then I go ahead and do a bit of contouring on my nose. Just a tiny bit. I'm using the same palette with the Maybelline Fashion Brow. Okay. If for example I have like little marks or pigments, then I use a bit of concealer still on it. But since it's the beach, I don't want to use anything that's heavy. So I just use like a BB cream. This one is from Etude House. And then time for the eyes. So I always put on a primer first. So this primer is Laura Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. It can get 
super duper hot at the beach, so you'll be sweating. You need extra weapons to make sure that your eye makeup stays in place. This is actually from a brand called Bite. And this is the blondie shade. It's very nude, peachy undertone. Dab, 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 dab. So it's got a very natural color. Because as I've said, beach makeup look that bad, super natural looking. I use the same color, except I'm now using a different brush. This fly doesn't want to <laughs> let me vlog. And then I just put it there under my eye. And then I use my favorite Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon. This is in Brownout. I don't put it on directly, just so it's not as harsh. Although it does have a really natural color anyway. Just to make my eyes pop. Super, I really can't live without eyeliners, so... This really doesn't smudge on me, so this is my go-to product, especially if I want it to be a bit waterproof. Even if you're the type who just, you know, gets pretty at the beach and doesn't really go near the water, you are gonna sweat, so you need something that's waterproof. More like sweat-proof. So I just extended a tiny bit here. And use the same eyeliner and line my upper lash line, but really, really tightly. And then, I like to use tints more than powder when I'm at the beach. I don't know why, I just feel like it's more natural looking and it has more staying power. So I'm using Benefit's Posse Tint with the pink color. So just in the apples of your cheek, it's got a very, very natural, like, flush color, like pink flush. It's just like, you know, your crush just passed by and then you just blushed. So the trick here is to start with just a few drops first and then build up. Especially if you're not used to using cheek tints or lip tints. Don't put so much right away so that you can get the hang of it. You look just a bit flushed. And then you highlight as well. So I'm using Benefit's High Beam this time. So again, I'm using it in tint form liquid form because I feel like they're also lighter. Like, that's what I hate the most when I'm at the beach. I don't like wearing anything heavy. So yeah, you just put this here to highlight. And then here as well. Actually, my favorite. Malakas makatangos ng ilong ang highlights, guys. Trust me. You can put a bit here also if you want. You can also put here very natural, right? So, and then when it comes to your lips, I use the same ones. So, I'm gonna mix Posi Tint with Bene Tint. Very natural color. This is already fine, like, this is already good enough. But if you still wanna add a bit of makeup, then you can maybe put eyeliner still. Sometimes I do that as well, especially if I have an event. If it's a beach event and I don't want to look super duper plain, then I put a bit of eyeliner as well. I'm using K Palette Real Lasting Eyeliner One Day Tattoo in Black. Try to put it as close to your lash line as possible so that it still looks natural. So there you have it. So again, you can end with this, but if you still want to be extra, <laughs> then let's put eyelash mascara. Usually I stay away from eyelash mascara because these just like, mascaras are one of the first things that smudge when you do get into the water if you're not just, you know, making a bit out. But it's all about finding the right mascara for you. For me, what works best for me right now, my favorite is this one from Dolly Wink. It elongates your lashes more than it volumizes, which is fine with me. So the trick here is not to add so much product. For me, it's really keep it at a minimum, just right. So there's also less chances of you looking like a raccoon if it does smudge. The sun and sweat is a powerful combination. Let's just brush the excess off. But again, if you want to be extra, 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 then you can also contour. <laughs> so I'm using 
Happy Skin's Glam Squad Contour Palette. I like this the most because it's got a really grayish brown color. And for my skin tone, at least, this works the best. Because when it's too orange or too brown, like too reddish brown, then it doesn't really suit me so much. And voila! So that's it. We now have our natural beach makeup look. How do you like it? How do you like it? How do you like it? So again, it's all about less is more. It's not about piling on so much gunk. You don't want to look like a shiny disco ball at the beach. You don't want to look like you're going to some party or some date. You don't want to clog your pores. You don't want any of that. You know, it's just all about showing your naturally radiant skin. So number one, make sure that you have a good skin routine. And number two, make sure you have just the right products for your face so that you don't end up piling on so much unnecessary stuff. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Get <laughs>